Welcome to the project demonstration of Smart Pillow using IoT. So in this version we added the IoT feature means in the previous version we added the Bluetooth. So from the Bluetooth we are going to set the timer for the alarm. So that is uh, in seconds. So now we are going to set the alarm timing in say in terms of seconds by this slider from the Blink application. So this can be accessed from anywhere in the world. So the red icon will show the status of the device is offline. So for before on the git we need to enable the hotspot and all I will tell you that and also like the previous video like we are going to get the x y z parameters of the person when he is sleeping on this pillow. So we are going to mount this inside this pillow and when he is uh, like uh, while sleeping if he is not sleeping properly so will, when we move on this pillow then this x y z parameters will vary. So we can download that parameters directly uh, from this xyz using this uh, channel settings and data import export so we can erase this old data so before erasing that for downloading purpose data import export and now download the data so it will be downloaded in csv format and open that so we can get the data in along with the number of entries and the date and time and next field 1 is x field 2 is y and field 3 is z so in this manner we are going to get the details and once you download the data now go to channel settings here do only clear channel no need to touch any other options so if you change the other options then it may affect the output of our project so channel settings for clear the channel data import export to download the data private view to see the live data while scrolling in your mobile phone so don't touch on this blue bar so it may change the position of these fields so in between that so here we need to touch so on the field also it won't touch it won't have effect so here so now coming to the kit explanation so in our project the main important input sensors are like sound sensor to detect the snoring of the person and the next uh, DF mini player to play the music and through this mobile phone uh, speaker so ringer speaker we are going to provide the audio file outputs and there we use the two uh, like uh, vibrators to alert the person when the alarm time is completed so then it will give the vibrates so that the person can wake up and also if the person snores so then we will provide the uh, like uh, vibrations for two seconds to make him normal and next this is the gyroscope we are using here so mp6050 so from this we are going to get the details directly to the things picked out platform so it will detect the x y z parameters so and the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 1 amp battery so which is rechargeable battery in order to recharge the battery just connect this cable to the 230 volts ac plug then this light will get switched on so it will be fully charged in a duration of 6 to 8 hours and we need to provide the 5 volts power supply to this remaining input and output modules as the operating voltage for these modules is 5 volts so for that purpose we are using this buck converter so which will take 12 volts dc and provide as a 5 volts dc output so we are providing that 5 volts dc here so this is the breadboard in order to distribute the 5 volts power supply through this input output modules so we are distributing from here so input from uh, from this buck converter to this breadboard and from there we are distributing to the input modules and output modules so this is the esp8266 wi-fi module which will taking input from the arduino uno board and upload the xyz parameters data to the uh, data to the things cloud platform as well as from the blink application it will read the timer position and it will inform to the uno about the how many number of seconds we need to place the alarm so when we on the alarm then automatically the speakers will get on uh, on and will provide us a music so in this df mini player so we place one memory card in this we loaded the uh, sleeping songs slow music slow, uh, songs uh, if you want to change the songs you can change them but name should be one two three four five nothing much one dot mp3 and two dot mp3 and then insert in this manner and insert that so it's push to lock and push to unlock so check twice properly and lock that in position now coming to the interfacing connections so we have interfaced the sound sensor at the 8th pin and uh, next the 9th pin is connected to the 
output of this uh, like vibration sensors and 0 and uh, 1 for this ESP8266 and the 6 and uh, uh, 6 and 7 pins for the TX RX pins of our DF mini player so these are the input and output connections and uh, this MEMS uh, like gyroscope interface at the A4 and A5 pins directly so let us see demonstration so as we discussed before on the kits we need to enable the hotspot in your phone so for that go to hotspot settings of your phone change the hotspot name to projects 5532 without any space without any capital letter password should be 12345678 and ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz so after that enable the hotspot and data and next log into the thingspeak cloud platform and next log into the blink application so red icon the device is offline and now keep the battery fully charged before execution one day so because better to charge for at least six to eight hours so now on the kits so the light LED will be on and off two times and after that so the device will be connected over here right you can see that the smart pillow is connected now so if you want to set the seconds just you can slide it when you stop this sliding then that particular seconds will be sent to the Arduino you know so now let us see place the for 20 seconds now let's receive and now the system is playing the song and you can see the red light is on on this DF mini player so if in between if the person snores then automatically the vibrator will get switched on right you can see that's on so when the music was off then i'll let you know that right so let me show you from starting onwards So the data of XYZ parameters continuously when it is connected then set that for it's already started so once the time completes then automatically the vibrators get switched on so it will inform to the person about to wake up the vibrations will get switched on and now after woke up the person will uh, he has to switch off this device then it's normal condition again so as you can see the the new data got arrived so the other parameter values so x y z